Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who love their tech. And this video is going to be a small discussion on the question of, is an iPhone 6 uh, good enough to use in 2019? And not just any iPhone 6, an untethered jailbroken iPhone 6. Is this still credible to use? in 2019 let's find out i know you're looking at my phone saying yo yo look at that live that live wall screen or, or springboard that that is hot so having a, a jailbroken iphone is indeed the hot butter on the popcorn i have and ha i've had like i said in the past before getting my s9 I've had an iPhone ever since its first induction um, through AT&T and since the very first iPhone I have jailbroken pretty much every iPhone I've had and I enjoy it. Why? Because it gives you the benefits of kind of having a an Android phone where you can customize it the way that you want. You see with Apple they want you to use a phone as is right out the box. You know what I'm saying? But because of hackers, jailbreakers, and people like that, um, they've figured out how to tap into the phone so that you can customize it the way that you want. Now, granted, it's still an iPhone 6. Granted, it's still throttled. Granted, Apple did slow it down to make you kind of want to buy a new phone. Granted, Apple wants you to buy a new phone because that that's how they make their millions and billions and trillions of dollars you know what I'm saying off the consumer so they depend on you to like the phone for two or three years get bored with it buy another one with a whole lot of features that you ain't gonna use anyway so Apple like I said they don't like jailbreakers because with jailbreaking of course you can do a lot of a lot of stuff that Apple doesn't want you to actually do but um, for the for the most part, for me, um, I like it because I like customizing it and putting a breath of fresh air into my phone every chance I get. Why a new breath of fresh air? That'll stop me from buying another phone. Companies don't like you to do that. I completely understand you companies. You know you want to make money, but me personally, I don't like shutting out my money to you to begin with. So. I mean, I got to buy stuff no matter what. So even though I don't like spending money, um, I spend money anyway. So long story short, is it usable in 2019? Well, I'm using it now. So the short answer is, of course, yes. Indubitably, yes. So what I like about my jailbroken iPhone, excuse the wobble, um, like I said, the customization. With the finna dock, I can put all my apps on the bottom like this. I got a date in the status bar. Um, I have an option where if my phone is being depleted uh, of battery power, I can put it in low power mode just by touching the battery. See how it turned yellow? Let's focus on that. Yellow and white. And yellow and white. Don't know if you can really see it, but I can. That is a hot business. Change the name of the uh, carrier. My carrier is me, Tech OG. Like I said, the live uh, springboard. Did you say live wallpaper, basically, pretty much? Um, there's a lot, a lot of different things that you can do with a jailbroken iPhone. Here are basically the tweaks that I have downloaded or have bought from Cydia. Or some of them bought and some of them are free that I use on my phone and these are in my opinion the best and I mean the best tweaks that you can have for your phone spring intensifier uh, speeds up the animation on the phone so it just it seems like that that is faster it's not really faster it's just cutting the animation so it just seems like it's faster which is cool toucher great um, tweak where I don't have to press my home button all the way in to get to the home screen. I just tap it like that and look at that. 
So I can just do that and a lot of other features. And like I said, it just the, the just the features alone is just what makes this really really cool. And check this out. Check out this feature. So there's this um, this tweet called Shydock, and with this tweet called Activator, you can assign a particular gesture to make your dock disappear. Watch this. <laughs> Isn't that the hot butter on the popcorn? Can't use it when you can't see it. And it just gives you more of a nice view of your home screen. Now check this other tweak out. This one's called Tap Tap Status Bar. Tap the status bar, watch, that, watch what happens. <laughs> just screen. Just beautiful screen. You can't deny the coolness of having a jailbroken iPhone just for the features. And did I mention that it's untethered? The difference between untethered and tethered jailbroken iPhone with an untethered iPhone, you can turn this completely off, turn it back on, jailbreak still on. With a untethered, I mean tethered or semi-tethered, if you turn it off, you gotta restart the jailbreak. I don't like those. I like it's basically having an iPhone, but just having your features readily available every time you turn it on. That's what an untethered jailbreak is. And this is one of the last ones on earth. I mean, you can find a couple of untethered jailbroken iPhones on eBay. And you're not going to find the one that I have. This is an iPhone 6, 64 gigabytes of pure delicious space. You're not going to find that many. Or you're, gonna, you're not going to find this one on eBay. And here's proof of what I mean. So you got some on eBay. Yeah, you got an iPhone 5 here. You got, and this is running 9.0.2. So I'm on iOS 9, which is a fantastic um, iOS to run because you can run a lot of feet, um, apps that are in the App Store. Now there are some apps that are iPhone, uh, iOS 10, iOS 11. So I'm gonna mess out on those. I don't care. And like I said, and when it says uh, results matching fewer words, that means these are the only untethered iPhones that are out there. Now, oh, actually, correction. Well, sort of. This is an iPhone 6S. 64 gigabyte. Rose Gold AT&T iOS 9.0.2, just like this one. So this one is a slight step above mine. But look at how much it costs. This has been on eBay for a long time. I will be surprised if someone will actually buy this. And this is our best offer. Because this is the last one on earth that's, well, that is being sold on eBay. There may be people out in the world that have one, that are using one right now, that will probably won't sell it. But this is a pre-owned. But to sell it for two thousand, man, that that. Mm -mm. Like I said, if you look at the selection of until the iPhones, you got one that's a iPhone six plus, sixteen gigabyte, sixteen gigabyte here running six point one point two, yuck. I, uh, iPhone five here, thirty two gigabyte T Mobile, that's not bad, sixty bucks. So what iOS is it running? But you can find out just showing you that there's not a lot of untethered iPhones out there for sale. But back to the point. Is this usable in 2019? Of course it is. I'm using it now. I make phone calls, use FaceTime, surf the web, and my, my home network is Verizon Files and I got the one gigabyte uh -oh, of speed. So yeah, I'm paying a pretty penny for it. But what's cool about this phone, even though it's a older phone, it picks up the 5G of my home network. That is the hot business. So I'm getting blazing speeds on my phone, you know what I'm saying? E even though it's an older phone, but it, I can use it. it. It works great. So like I said, having my features, being a usable phone, 64 gigabytes of delicious space. Um, got my mask screen protector on here. Nice and durable case on here. Nice wallet, gonna do a review on that. Um, is it usable? Of course it is. Of 
course it is. Like I said, get my email, make a phone calls. People still hear me crystal uh, clear. A ton of apps. Um, and at first, um, my Google apps were not working. But um, I think two days ago, uh, I pulled this out of my drawer because I was a little upset that it wasn't working. And I tried my Google Play Music, and it started. Oh, that's another tweak right there. I clip three. Turns a lot of things black. Just the way I like it. My Google apps are working just fine now. So Gmail, um, Google Drive, Google Maps, all my Google um, apps, they now work. And because they work, like I said, I found that out two days ago. I started tweaking my phone again, and now I'm using it as my daily driver. So, does it work? Of course it works, and I keep it in great condition, you know what I'm saying, keep it protected, so there's not a lot of scratches on it, anything like that, and it has a headphone jack, that's what's up, the speaker, I didn't realize how cool the older phone speakers are. You can actually hear the bass. I can actually hear a bass guitar and music on this speaker. And there's only one speaker. Where you your newer phones got dual speakers. I, I can't really hear the bass on my dual speaker S9 that I'm using to record this video with. I can hear it just great on this phone right here. So the older phones have better speakers. Hands down. If you are a music enthusiast, I mean, of course, 9 times out of 10, you use headphones to listen to your music. But if you just want to use your phone, I'm telling you, the iPhone 6 has a fantastic speaker. And in my opinion, better than the S9, better than a lot of newer phones that are out there. So, like I said, as far as using this phone today, using it in 2020, because I don't have to keep on using this until it breaks down. Um, is, it, is it doable? Of course it is. If you can find one untethered than jailbroken like mine, grab that sucker. Um, I can leave you a list of the tweaks that I use in the uh, comments section if you're interested. Um, like I said, just keep searching for one. They're, they're getting harder and harder to find because people are moving away from jailbreaking and rooting. I, I even did a video on is jailbreaking and rooting, is it dying? Um, technically it is. But there's still a handful of people that still enjoy uh, rooted and jailbroken phones, such as I do. So, that's the end of the video. I'm happy with my phone. Um, if you like the video and, you know, like the, the word of knowing that you can use this phone um, in today's time, definitely leave a thumbs up um, for the video. Um, leave any questions or comments in the comment section if you have any. Um, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.